This month you have the chance to join Susan G. Komen's Great Plains to not only raise money, but to also fund emotional support for those living with breast cancer. Formerly known as the Race for the Cure, the More Than Pink Walk is an opportunity to celebrate and support family and friends in Kelloland battling breast cancer. Maureen Ulmer, Claire Fetrell, and Linda Edom are with the More Than Pink Walk. They're here with information about this year's walk and to tell us how your donations could help save lives. Welcome, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Maureen, I just want to start with you, Maureen. Tell me, what is the More Than Pink Walk? The More Than Pink Walk is actually South Dakota's number one fundraiser for breast cancer. Uh, we pull the community together. It's a huge event at the Falls Park. And we really want to get everybody together to focus on our survivors, those who are battling and those we've lost, so that we can raise funds for the state of South Dakota to help families across the state who have to endure this. And what does more than pink mean? Well, more than pink means it's more than just a color. You know, breast cancer awareness is huge, and we see it everywhere. We see it on NFL, we see it um, in stores, we see it by big sponsors. But we want to make sure people know it's more than just a color. It is a true cause, and it's a, it's a cause that impacts millions every single year. And Claire, this is a really personal story for you. Can you tell me a little bit about what this means to you? Sure, so I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 27, and this whole More Than Pink walk is really important to me because it truly is more than pink. I mean, breast cancer is looking at yourself in the mirror with no hair, holding this new baby you have, and just thinking you're alone. You think nobody has felt this way. And then you get to Falls Park, and you see all these other people who have been there, just where you have been, and you get to find this community of people you can text in the middle of the night saying, are these feelings valid, and what should I do? And Susan G. Komen has provided that for me and other South Dakotans with breast cancer, that there's a community of people who will be there for you, not just now, but in the future and forever. And we saw some pictures of you just now at the walk last year and with your son and, and when you were in cancer treatment. So, Maureen, tell me a little bit more, or, or Linda, where do these funds go? The funds that we raise in South Dakota stay in South Dakota. They, not only everyone that's had breast cancer been touched by our research, there's amazing things going on in our research every day, but it takes money to continue this research to figure out a cure. And the other part of our money that we raise stays right here uh, to make sure that everyone gets the same quality of care. You know we are very much a rural state, so it, a cancer treatment can be as long as a year. So to get to these treatments, at that type of thing. Sometimes we cover the travel costs with gas vouchers. It might be food, lodging. It might be elder care, daycare. It's very, very tangible and touches lives every day of families in South Dakota. Claire, have you seen personally how these funds have impacted cancer patients in our community? I have. So I have heard hundreds of stories and met so many wonderful people that have told me here in South Dakota, I couldn't afford to drive to Sioux Falls to get treatment and where do I turn to find someone that can help me watch my child as I sit in the chemo chair for hours and being able to direct them somewhere saying the funds we're raising here stay here and you can contact the Sioux Falls office and ask for help and it's there for you. So it's just really kind of neat to say like here's what we're doing for you and here's what we will continue to do for you. And you've seen all of this firsthand. Yes. Maureen who should come to this race or to this walk? Oh my gosh, everybody. It everybody. is a huge family event. Um, we have the um, day is filled with fun. Uh, we, it's, it's a serious cause, of course, but we really wanna make it family friendly. We have um, Samuels Financial Group who is sponsoring the Kids for the Cure area. We've got Papa John's Pizza, Caribou Coffee, Bagels, a DJ photo booth. It is a day of fun and celebration all the while we're raising funds for this important cause. We've seen some, some video from, I think, past years, and it does, it looks magical. Everybody coming together, all of that pink mm -hmm. and more. Mm -hmm. Maureen, you're the chair this year. What does that mean to you to be the chair? Yeah, I've been honored. Um, this is actually my fourth year as chairperson, and I've been honored um, each year by Susan G. Komen to ask me to return. Uh, my, I lost a, mo a grandmother to uh, breast cancer. I have three survivors in my family and way too many friends that have been diagnosed. In fact, two friends just started a journey this summer. And I've seen this impact the families, like Claire mentioned. I've heard my friends talk about 
um, kissing their children goodnight at night at bedtime and their children saying, gosh, mommy, I hope you're going to be okay. So even um, having it so close to me makes this whole journey and this event such a passion for me. And Claire, will we see just a huge group of survivors out there this year? Definitely. There are so many wonderful people and survivors from young, old, all walks of life, metastatic, newly diagnosed, and everyone comes together and you just feel that sense of peace that there's somebody out there that you can talk to and they have gone through this journey and they get it. And so being able to see all of that there is just, it's incredible. Linda, tell me about the details. Let's make sure we're all at this event. Everyone needs to come to this yeah. event and go to ComanGreatPlains.org. It's September 29th, Falls Park, and it's an easy, beautiful one-mile walk. We can all do it, and the money raised there, as you can hear from the ladies today, is needed. So hope to see you all September 29th. Again, it's ComanGreatPlains.org, South Dakota Walk. Sign up today. And you can go to that website and register to walk? That's correct. Do you need to register in advance? Is there a cutoff? No, nope. you can register day of, day but of? we prefer, you know, we like you to register early and get out and fundraise and have fun with your team uh, because it's all about the money raised at this event and the celebration for our survivors and thrivers. And even if you can't be there, can you go out there and register and start fundraising? Yes, just Absolutely. go out. If you can't make it, go out there, go ComanGreatPlains.org, hit the register button. You can put the team captain name in that you want to support, and you can donate money right there, and it'll support... Coleman, South Dakota. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you for being here and telling thank us you. all about the walk. Thank you. Thank Ashley. you very much.